Hi everyone, I'm David Garvey with Illinois WorkNet. This video will cover how to use Illinois WorkNet to research high demand training options and moving forward with the WIOA approved training programs. WIOA programs are approved by the local workforce innovation boards. Programs that qualify for WIOA funded training are included in the search and all of these training programs lead to high demand occupations. So who can apply to these WIOA funded uh, opportunities. It depends on a few factors. The first one is income eligibility. This is determined by the local workforce area. For instance, if you live in Chicago, then it may be different than if you were to live in Peoria, Carbondale, or elsewhere in Illinois. Another factor are barriers to employment eligibility. Uh, for example, basic skills deficiency, or if you're lacking in math, reading, or writing skills. Uh, another barrier would be the English language learner if English is not your primary language. And the third factor is dislocated worker eligibility, which means if you've been laid off, then you may also be eligible. With this in mind, you'll wanna check with your local American Job Center, and you can use the service finder, which is this page here, to find the nearest American Job Center at illinoisworknet.com slash service finder. You'll just plug in uh, your city or zip code here and the nearest American Job Center uh, towards you will show up here and then you can just reach out and follow up about that with uh, a workforce partner. There are some uh, requirements to be eligible as well that I do want to point out. Number one, you must be authorized to work in the U.S. Number two, if you are a male, you must be compliant with military selective service requirements. And number three, other requirements may include proof of age and address to determine which program you may be in and where. For example, youth or adult program and location to ensure you are being assisted by the correct workforce staff. So in using the uh, WIOA approved training program search, uh, you can find this by going to IllinoisWorkNet.com selecting the menu at the top here, and then training and credentials, and then you'll click WIOA we'll approved training program search. And that'll take you to this page. Scroll down to the search. You can start your search and see the list of programs and participant results. Without entering anything in the search criteria, we can see that there's over 4,500 training programs. We'll go through a search now. Uh, so we will have a training program selected right here and search. Uh, you also have the option to browse through the listing in alphabetical order uh, with search criteria. Uh, you can, but it's not required, but if you select an LWIA or the local workforce innovation area, you can filter results by region. Uh, when you reach out to your American Job Center, you can determine which LWIA you are in. Again, this is not required. You can also enter in keywords to filter through results. If you wanted to search for graphic, you can do so uh, for your search. So let me enter that here. And we can see with that keyword that there's uh, 109 results that have displayed. You can also select from uh, the job family and related occupations uh, just right here. Uh, in opening this up, we can see that there are several to choose from. Uh, in choosing this, a box to it will open up where you can see the related occupations for the job family. So let me clear, let me reset the search here. and select healthcare support occupations. And so if we click this show hide 15 occupations, we can see within this job family, the related occupations. And when we selected the job family, we saw that it filtered to 448 results. So with some of these filters, as you're applying them, the uh, results will automatically update and you can then conduct you know, a further search. And so, for example, if we just select uh, phlebotomists here, uh, we get 16 results. And if we add 
pharmacy aids, we're going to get a few more and bump that up to 20. Other search filters include uh, city or zip code. And there's a link next to this to determine your zip code along with uh, a distance of how far you're willing to travel within 10 miles, 25 miles, and so on. So you can see this here. And here's the lookup that links to uh, the United States Postal Service's website. Uh, you also have the option to select how many results are on the page by using the page size dropdown. And there's a training program type uh, as well that you can use in your search. And with this, you can search for basic skills or remedial. And these would be programs that will include skills we mentioned earlier, such as reading, writing, and math. Uh, registered apprenticeship programs where you can earn a wage while learning about a specific trade and vocational. And these would be fields, these would be for fields of work that would uh, be more hands-on in a professional setting. And for the sort order of the programs, uh, you can sort alphabetically A to Z by training cost, either lowest to highest or highest to lowest. Uh, training time, uh, again, again, you can search that lowest to highest or highest to lowest. Training goal, total enrollment by highest and the highest average wage. And there's a few other buttons I want to point out. Uh, reset, which uh, just did actually, actually. Uh, and that'll clear the filter and you know keywords and search criteria you've entered above. Um, you also have the ability to export. And now when you export it, that will create an Excel spreadsheet of the results of your current search. You also have the ability to compare up to three programs. There's a glossary as well that links to a page with terms and definitions that you may be unfamiliar with. And here's that glossary button just above uh, the map here. And so once you've entered your search criteria, uh, you'll see information on different programs such as the program name, address, cost, time, it takes to complete, and the goal. You see that information right along here. If you click on the name itself, you'll see the program details that will show you different details. Let me select this real quick. And it'll show you the different details and parameters for that program and a map of it. And if it's available, you can also see how many have completed the program. And that's at that information and performance data at the bottom here. So you can see that there's two completers uh, who have uh, completed this program. And so when you want to uh, compare programs, what you'll do is when you find three that uh, are of interest to you, you'll select add to compare list. And you can see up here this change from uh, selecting three sites to you know, view one of selected results. So uh, let's just scroll down and add a couple more that I would be interested in. And if you want to remove it, you can click on the remove from compare list. We can add another one. And uh, the compare uh, feature will allow you to see these side by side. So once you're ready to compare them, you have the results selected. Just to the right of this is the compare button. So we'll click that, and that'll open up a table here in, this, in a new tab. And you can, you can compare them uh, with a side-by-side -side view. So at the top here, uh, we can see you know, different rows for overview for this first, second, and third program that I selected. And we'll just get a breakdown of all that information that's available. So we can see, we can compare between these three programs, the overview, a program description, the training program type, provider information, program contact information, associated job families and occupations, certifying licensing or registrating body, uh, quality assurance, education information, we can see the tuition, time it takes to complete. 
uh, financial aid if available, the application procedure, non-discrimination, equal opportunity and disability provisions, compliance assurance, program offerings, and then that performance data that we mentioned uh, earlier. And so that is the training program search. And we're gonna scroll back up here uh, to the search. And what we'll do now is we're gonna reset and we're going to change the search type and mode. So next we're gonna take a look at the training provider search. So those are the training programs, but these are the training providers. So on this uh, same page, we can see under search type and mode, we selected that to uh, training providers and we see the results are uh, different. And the presentation of this has changed. Uh, there's fewer filters, but you can still look through here. Uh, we can see that there's over 500 WIOA training providers in our results, but the uh, search features and filters that we have are uh, being able to look up by local workforce innovation area, keywords, city or zip code, uh, the distance you're willing to uh, travel, and the uh, number of results on the page size. And you can also see that the search, reset, export, and glossary terms are uh, available here as well. And so when you are uh, when you click on the names of these providers, a window will open that will show uh, information about it. So let's do a search for healthcare training. Okay, so we'll select this first one here, A plus healthcare training. And uh, this will be similar to the view that we saw on the training program uh, search when we selected a site. And this will provide information about this provider. It'll show the address and location on a map, a list of programs offered by that provider, and a summary of the completers who have completed those programs. It's performance data again. And so that's an overview of the WIOA training programs and provider search. And as you can see, there's several different ways to search through available training opportunities that are available to and near you. If you have any questions about any of these programs or providers, I strongly encourage you to reach out to your American Job Center by visiting IllinoisWorkNet.com slash service finder. And that was this page that we had up. Uh, or uh, another way you can reach this site, this uh, service finder, is by selecting the menu and then selecting Network and Connect, and clicking on Illinois WorkNet Service Finder. Uh, and when you do a search, you'll see in the service finder, Illinois WorkNet Center, and enter your location information, and that'll pull up the site with the contact information. It'll include the address, phone number, website, hours of operation, uh, and populations they serve, and more information. And with that, uh, that will conclude the uh, overview we have of the WIOA training program and uh, training providers search. So again, I just want to reiterate, uh, if you do have any questions about, the, about your WIOA eligibility or the training programs and providers, do come to the Service Finder site, find your Illinois WorkNet Center and reach out to them and they will help you with all questions uh, that you may have. Thank you.